Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we are going to be listening to Crip Rot, Embryonic Devils EP. So fucking good on uh, Southern Lord Records. This EP is so fucking good. I threw the B-side on, which is pretty much a love letter to dissection and dismember. And it fucking rules. Just enjoy, but... I want to review a CD of uh, Profanatica's Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. Fuck yeah. More early East Coast underground metal. And this lands on the US black metal side of things. But again, you have some original members from Incantation and whatnot which actually is where the song title comes from. But this is so fucking good. Just straight up hating on Jesus Christ. I love this type of stuff. Just, you know, kind of over the top, like, blasphemy. Um, and it's very just vile, despicable, disgusting lyrics. Like, I fucking love it. And one of my favorite U.S. black metal little, yeah, USBM with the upside down crucifix. It's just cool. I, I don't know. I like the way it looks. This is a Hell's Headbangers um, release. But you have a uh, black cum, pious piece of shit, Christ, precious blood poison, smashing religious fucking stash statues, fuck the blood of the lamb. Covered in black shit, the trumpet shall sound. Crush all that is holy defiled. <laughs> Excrement, sacri uh, sacrament, I think, I'm sorry. And then angel with cock, which is their logo right there. <laughs> and then you have uh, just grimness, awesome. But uh, yeah, fucking. Pro Fanatica is Paul Ledney and John Gelso, and Paul is the Mayhemic Slaughter of the Heavens, while John Gelso is the Goat Mask Ejaculate upon the Altar of All Deemed Holy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but this is seriously killer, killer US black metal, like total underground, pure. Like, just black hatred against Jesus Christ, like I said. And it's awesome. Like, seriously. Very, very dis distinguishable bass tone. Awesome vocals on Paul's part. And just cool songs. But I like Thy Kingdom Come. I like disgusting blasphemies against God. But to me, like... As much as like I love like some of the seven inch stuff and some of the splits are really really good. Curling Flame of Blasphemy, their latest, is just it just shits on literally, you know, their past material. It takes everything that was like awesome about like, you know, thy kingdom come and ups the ante, it ups the extremism, everything, like it's just a great album, and the production, it's just, it's amazing. Where this also has, I, I really like the production on Pro Fanatica Records. Like, I really do. I think it sounds fucking sick. They just have this sound to them that it's, like, really, really awesome. And, you know, you, if you've heard it before, and somebody puts on a track by this band, you know, like, alright, that's... Profanica, Profanatica, whatever. I'm sorry if I'm mis... I always mispronounce this band's title. And I feel like an idiot every time I do it. Because I actually really do like this band. It's just one of those words I don't really use a lot. Profanica, Profanatica, what, whatever. It's fucking awesome is what it is. And that's all you really need to know. I just wanted to do a quick little, you know, reminder that this band and album exists and that it is fucking pure blasphemy and it's pure awesomeness. It doesn't reach the heights of memorability that 
um, the Curl and Flame of Blasphemy does, where a lot of songs are very familiar and you just want to listen to them over and over again, like this Crypt Rock EP. Like, listen to this. Holy shit, that sounds amazing. But, but fuck yeah, so good. But just when it comes to early East Coast underground, like black and death metal, it really doesn't get much, you know, underground than Profanatica. Like, Profanica, god damn it, I hate my life. But a cool thing about this Hell's Headbangers release is um, this cardboard, like, J card insert for um, no lyrics or anything, just, you know, Jesus getting tortured. The usual. <laughs> but. You have the artwork and layout by Paul Ledney, produced by John Gelso. Mastering and additional production by Jean Christoph Sepalis. Recorded during 20, 2009 at Raw Recording Studios up in Mayo Park, New York. So, fuck yeah. East Coast, man. But, like, check out their shit from, like, the early 90s, and, like, you'll see, like, this band was pushing these extremities that, you know, weren't really going on in the metal underground outside of blasphemy and, um, you know, the beginnings of the Norwegian black metal scene, which is pretty much what spawned, uh... Profanica. <laughs> I it pisses me off. I keep fucking this band's title up. But, um, as usual, don't smoke before you do record reviews. But, um, pretty much, they were sick of the whole death metal scene and it not being evil enough, pretty much. Like, there were certain bands that they mentioned in a very infamous 1992 interview where they drop some hard J's, but uh, it's all tongue in cheek. Like the one dude's just sitting there ripping up a Bible the whole interview. It's just very strange and funny if like you just take it in like you know a tongue in cheek context. Otherwise, you're like uh, these guys are fucking out of their minds. Like at one point, Paul just like whips his dick out and starts like I, I think he like pisses like. On, on a statue of... I, I forget. Like, I know he pisses in a jug to, like, throw on a statue of Mary. Or <laughs> it's just out of control. But there's actually a scene from it in Gummo where, um... I don't even know who it is. I think it might be, uh, John uh, Gelso. He picks up this, like, goat skull and, like, puts it in front of the camera like that. It's awesome. But, yeah, musically, you just have pure Christ bashing black metal from America. It has that Americanized sound as well. Like you will not hear any Scandinavian influences on here. You will hear more New York old school death metal influences than you'll hear, you know, Emperor or something like that. Like this is pure underground black metal and it needs to be viewed that way and it needs to be listened to that way when you expect you know if you're expecting some kind of satiricon production or you know some bullshit that you could sing along to this is not the record for you i mean you're gonna go sing around to covered in black shit <laughs> be my guest but this is a great addition to their discography and i think it's a great album and a lot of people, like I said, uh, th this is lower on their list. They like, you know, the older stuff. Or they like Curling Flame with Blasphemy, the new album. Which, well, the newest album, which I personally think triumphs over everything else this band has done since the early 90s. Where, you know, they kind of were standing alongside bands like Gorophobia, Crucifier, etc. Like, you know, Winter 
especially like fucking winter was around during this time and you know so incantation even they were going the more death metal route and paul wanted to go a black metal route so there was a very you know non-confrontational split and boom Profanatica was born and have been just bashing Christ ever since. So, if you're going to check out this record, I highly recommend it. It's fucking killer stuff. Disgusting blasphemies against God. Yeah, dude, this is some serious shit right here. Awesome record. And if you're a fan of any of their other material and haven't heard this yet, again, for some reason... If you've heard, you know, Thy Kingdom Come, I'm sure you've heard this, and uh, Curling Flame of Blasphemy, check out my review of that, because I know that review actually turned a few people on to checking out that record, and they ended up really liking it. So give it a, wa a watch, and um, give it a listen on Bandcamp, and yeah. Pro Fanatica. Disgusting Blasphemies Against God on Hell's Headbangers Records. I'm going to give this a uh, 9 out of 10. It's just a fucking good album. And seriously, I really wish the B side of this wasn't such a dick tease. It's just two songs and around 8 minutes of awesomeness. But yeah, you're listening to Crip Rock, Embryonic Devils on Southern Lord Records. Thanks for watching. And again, ignore the trolling and whatnot. Fuck those guys. Hails. Remember, no death is known, only doorways. You are the Stargate.